Today, I will be making a dilute solution of sodium hydroxide. For this, you need some sodium carbonate, and you need calcium hydroxide. And calcium hydroxide is corrosive, so you should be very careful around it. And sodium hydroxide is corrosive, and you also need water. Even though the solution we're making is dilute, the sodium hydroxide can still cause burns, so be careful. So there's my sodium carbonate, and I'm just opening it. So now I'm taking a small amount of it, one spoonful, and putting it in my test tube. And I'm going to close that. Right now I'm getting my calcium hydroxide container and I'm washing my measuring spoon. <laughs> so there's my calcium hydroxide and I'm going to uh, put two spoonfuls of it in the same test tube with the sodium carbonate. So there's the calcium hydroxide and I'm just going to put it in. Just a little more. Closing that. So there's the mixture of chemicals and I'm going to add about two inches of distilled water. So there's the solution and mixture, and now I'm going to shake it. Now I'm going to have to filter off the calcium carbonate precipitate and get the sodium hydroxide solution. There's my filter cup or funnel. Pretty sure it's called filter funnel or something like that. And there's my filter paper. I'm just going to put it in the funnel. And I'm going to filter the solution. I'm going to skip over this so you guys don't have to wait. So after I filtered it, it was a clear solution of dilute sodium hydroxide. So I'm just going to take some in my pipette and put it on this red litmus paper, which I put in vinegar to make it red. And as you can see, it's basic and it's turning the red back to purple.
I'm gonna get some more here. Thanks for watching.